Hi guys, today I'll be showing you one of the best optimizer app for your Mac, which is the best alternative to clean my Mac X. This app is called Mac Cleaner Pro. Here's the look of the app. If you have used Clean My Mac X or love Clean My Mac X, you will love this app too because most of the functions are almost identical. You can see here they have the, the option to fast cleaning by just clicking here to remove chunks and speed up your Mac. They also have the option to clean up. This one you can clean up specific type of files you want to clean. For example, catches. These are catches that you want to clean up. You want to clean up the trash, the language file, installation file, mail, download, screenshot files, purchable space. So for cleanup feature here, it actually provides a little bit more detail about what it's going to clean. If you take a look at Clean My Mac X, they have smart scanning which scan the whole system. Yeah, you can clean the system junk, mail, trash. You can also go to optimization. But again, it doesn't tell you very details of what it's cleaning, unlike this Mac Cleaner Pro. It may tell you to clean the system junk, mail, and trash, but it doesn't have the feature like to clean screenshot file or purchase space or even language. You can even remove languages here using Mac Cleaner Pro. Let's see what else it has. For speed up, you can see here, you can speed up by managing your startup apps. This feature, Clean My Mac X doesn't have, but Mac Cleaner Pro has it. You can also turn this off, which means these apps or agents of the app will stop running at the startup, which will help your Mac to get to the home screen a lot faster. You can also speed up the heavy applications so they tell you which application consume how many percent of your cpu load you just click on that for example let's just choose a safari here click on review and speed up and click on speed up you say done speed up successfully completed so by doing that, it will make the heavy app to consume less RAM and CPU so that your overall performance of your Mac will be faster. You have also the option to optimize your RAM. So you can also optimize that by clicking here, click on review and speed up. It will do the same. It will try to minimize the use of RAM so that if we give you more RAM, the more RAM you have, the faster your Mac will be. You have also the feature of re-index spotlight, re-index mail, browser extensions, internet plugins. Another feature is manage files. So they will tell you all kinds of files that your Mac has, including archives, documents, movie files, music, pictures, applications, duplicate files, system files, home folders. So for example, documents. If you want to remove any documents, for example, in this situation, my Final Cut Pro file is 226 gigabytes. If like I'm running out of space, I can just remove this by clicking on review and remove, then I will save 226 gigabytes. So I just use this. I don't have to go and find it in the finder. This app will help me locate the large file much faster. This feature also exists on Clean My Mac X. Here you have to go to large and old files, click on it, and you need to scan it first. And it will show you here. But this one, you don't have to scan, it automatically detect. Just click on it and see the files, and you can decide to remove it or not, depending on you. You can remove pictures, music file, movies. They categorize all these files based on the type of it. So it's very convenient for you to delete any of them. And if you go to tools, so the first one is duplicate finder. So this is the difference between Clean My Mac X and Mac Cleaner Pro. Clean My Mac X, you only need one app. You can do anything on it. All the features will be in the same app. But for Mac Cleaner Pro, for the extra tools, you need to download extra apps. Usually it will link you to download it directly. For example here, if I want to use a tool called Duplicate Finder, I need to click here, Launch Duplicate File Finder. So to run Duplicate Finder, we click on Launch Duplicate File Finder here. It will locate the app and 
open it. So that is the drawback of this app as well. For Clean My Mac X, there's only one app and it has all these features inside the same app. But for Mac Cleaner Pro, the other features like Duplicate Finder, App Uninstall, Space Analyzer, Funter Hidden Files, Memory Cleaner, you need to install extra apps. So if you download this app, when you click on Duplicate Finder, if you don't have the app, it will ask you to download and install it. But if you already installed all of these, it will just run it like this. So that's one of the drawbacks of this app as well. And let's say you want to find some duplicate files, just click on Start Scanning. It will start finding the duplicate files. And another drawback of this app is that the process of running, like cleaning up or doing other processes, it usually kind of a, a little bit slower than Clean My Mac X. So now you can see it finds the duplicate files. I can just remove one of them or just leave it like that. So let's say I want to remove one, just click on Review and Remove. Remove and it's done. It is now in the trash here. That is for Duplicate Finder. This one you can find it. folders, files, pictures, music, merge folder and so on. And if you want to run app uninstaller, and as you know if you're using Clean My Mac X, this one should be in the same app right here, the feature. But this one, you have to run a separate app. Just click on launch app here. It will locate the app and launch it. So the drawback is that if you want to use another feature, you have to run another app. But the good thing about this is that when you have an additional app, they also provide more specific features to it. Like if you can clean my Mac X, they only have option for you to uninstall the app, nothing else. But because Mac Cleaner Pro, because they have extra app instead of just one single app, they provide features like startup program. You also can remove it if you want to. Remove it like disable the startup program. Extensions, remaining files, open with. So you just select any app you want to remove, click on uninstall. All of these related files will be gone with the app as well. So it will completely remove the app from your Mac. So for Space Analyzer, of course, you will have to run extra app. Click on launch disk, Space Analyzer here. And here. So start analyzing your Mac disk space. After it's done, you can see all the spaces here. You can locate all the files, see the size of it, see if you want to delete any of it directly from this. Any file you want to delete, just click on it, click on review and remove, it's gone. So that is very convenient for you to manually select the file you want to delete, see what size the file is and delete it manually. Instead of letting it automatically delete for you, you can just select the file you want to delete so that you don't remove any important file accidentally and for Fanta hidden files here again launch it so you say right here easily find an operate hidden file on your Mac so so I just open it at the moment if you just click at the top here it just run at the menu bar it shows you here the disk usage the junk files duplicates application files and so on and last is memory cleaner click on it click on launch it you will launch a new app. Again, it will show you at the menu bar. So currently, it consumes 7 gigabytes of my memory. And these are the apps that is using my memory. You can free it up by clicking here. We start cleaning up. We'll see how much memory it clean. It doesn't clean much at the moment. It's actually at the minimal level of memory usage already. So it cannot clean anymore. But if you're using apps like Final Cut Pro or Photoshop, which consume a lot of memory or Safari as well, you could run this app so that will free up more memory for you. But again, this is the best alternative to Clean My Mac X. If you wish to find another app that is as useful as Clean My Mac X, this is the best option for you. So that's the thing you should consider when you want to purchase and decide which one is the best app for you to use on your Mac but both of them are used to optimize the performance of your Mac so all the links to download and purchase the app are in the description you can check them out if you're interested so that's it guys thank you so much for watching this is Mac Cleaner Pro the best alternative of Cleaner Mac X thank you so much for watching if you like the video please give us a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe for more videos in the future have a great day guys see you in the next video